We're on. Oh, it worked. We're on. I got special guests. Tasha Nicole Fry is sitting right here. I'll introduce Hello. her in a minute. She's been on here before. She's very electrifying. You miss she, me. She, she takes over the show, <laughs> you know, to the point where she might get kicked on. But we'll talk no. about that later. It's your motivational speaker, your empowerment coach, your author, and your favorite baker's favorite baker. Join Coming at you on the first day of spring. Do you know it's the first day of spring? Bring it on, spring. And it's Friday, but it's not Friday, but it's Friday. Friday. Right, well, you'll explain that, too, in a minute. Thank you, Shayla, for joining in. I appreciate it. Like I said before, uh, let me give out the rules real quick. Some of you may know. Some of you may not. Uh, if your name may, may – I want to call you out. Uh, if your name does not show up, please type your name in. Say hi. Say something. Say where you're from. Say something. Do understand that there's about a 5 to 10-second delay from the time that you post something till the time that we see it. So we may even be on to another topic, but we will acknowledge your – we'll try to acknowledge your post. We'll get back say. to you. Yep. We'll yep. Back. And, and questions, too. But right now, I need to know what the energy levels are. I need to know what kind of wavelengths we have. I need to know where the energy levels at. So if you had a good day today, I need you to put a one in the comment section. I need you to put a one in the comment section if you had a good day today. Patty Ellison's on. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you had, you know, I don't believe in bad days. I believe a lot of people care, categorize them as bad days, but uh, I call them character building days. Character. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you had a character building day, I need you to put a two. It looks like a peace sign in the comment section. Put a two in the comment section if you had a character building day. A character building day is the type of day that we don't want, but it's necessary because it makes you understand that the the better, the good days, the outstanding days are that much better. I almost had a two day today. Did you Did believe you? it? Yeah, I was dealing with a toxic person earlier today, but I didn't let it consume me. That's a good thing. I shook it off. Breathe in positivity, breathe out negativity. I like that. Mm. I like that. See? I like that. that. So if you had a character building day, I need to put a two in the comment section. And if you had such an outstanding, wonderful, immaculate, marvelous, spectacular day, I need you to put a zero in that chumpy. Put a zero in the comment section if you had an outstanding day. Put a zero in the comment section if you had an outstanding day. You know, it's the type of day that we always strive for. It was so great. It's like this is a bubble, and you're right there in the middle of that bubble, and nothing can penetrate that bubble. I'm putting a zero at the end of this slide because my day, it, it, it started off as a one, then it went to a two, but be, I didn't let that bother me, so I, I, it came back up to a zero. You got to have that... Yeah, bounce back. Yeah, it's all about the bounce back. What are you, you know, gonna put at the back? end of the live? I'll say zero. You had a, a zero day too. I had a zero day like too. That. It was like really that. good. It's an amazing day. Mm -hmm. It's semi cool, warm. I like that. It's so that's that's already a plus. Mm -hmm. And then you know, I'm awake, I'm alive, and I'm here. So oh. duh, zero. <laughs> it's zero day. Boom. Zero. I see Shayla had a, uh, an amazing day today, and uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Also, because. Whenever you get the chance, at the end of this, we are also uh, on uh, Facebook Live, Coach Clee page. Make sure you tag, like, and share. We're also on YouTube. Woo -woo! Subscribe to that page. Check out the website, workwithclee.com, where you get a chance. Patty had a good day today. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, Patty. And we are moving on with uh, Women's History Month. We're in the middle of Women's History Month, the first day, the first day of spring. And uh, like I said before, I, I have Latasha Fry here. But real quick, I want to give a couple shout-outs. I want to give a couple shout outs to, for one, uh, uh, one of the first guests I had on here, I think it was, it might have actually been the first, the first female guest, is Cheryl Woodruff Brooks, who is the author of Chicken Bone Beach. She's been all over, uh, I, I want to say the country, but I know she's been up and down the East Coast a lot. Um, uh, uh, showing her book off, uh, doing a couple signings, doing a couple shows. So make sure to look her up. Um, she's doing tremendous things. She's been on the live before. I want to give a shout out to her. I want to give a shout out to my niece, Miracle Stokes. Hey, and she had a miracle moment. Um, she, I, she had her little podcast thing going mm -hmm. on, and I don't, I don't know where it's at right now. But she had a couple events that were going on at the beginning of the year. She was the very first guest of 2019. She's doing major things. I'm real proud she of is. Miracle. She is. And I want to give a special shout out to Shayla Thompson. She was on Good Day PA uh, earlier today. Black Girl Magic. Ooh. And she did a tremendous job. And each time she's on TV, you can see her uh, feeling more and more comfortable. And she, she did a good job. So I want to give a shout out to Shayla. Thank you for joining in. Oh, like I yay, said, we got some heart. They look real cute when Don't they come they in, too. Like they look real cute. I feel love. <laughs> Hug. I just want to uh, uh, acknowledge the fact that you came here again. 
Yes. Thank you very much. You're electrifying. You're a lot of fun. You give a lot of positive energy. This is uh, Latasha Fried. She is a mother. She is a positive personality. She is a former Harrisburg School Board member. She is a nonprofit. She has her own nonprofit organization, GIFT, G-I-F-T, which is an acronym. And I'll let her explain that because I'll probably mess it all up. You know, It's then, an acronym for greatly influencing the future of tomorrow. There so we, go. we used to have walked against violence after school programs. Right now we're currently just on hold because I'm in grad school. <laughs> Big fish to fry. <laughs> yes, you got a lot on your plate right now like it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Steve, thank you for joining in. Coach Steve said, what's up, Tasha? Hey, there's the hero. <laughs> I remember that. Didn't he say he saved the day for a flat tire or something yeah, like that? Yeah, he saved the day. I had a flat tire in the rain. Okay. Steve's the hero. That's okay. the big bro. Okay. She's also, uh, what is it, owner of Friday Styles? Friday Styles LLC, providing your hair braided needs. You know, if you need your hair braided at a cost-effective amount, you know, quality. And I am very professional. You can call me, schedule, book me. I try to stay all on top of all of that. So, yeah. I want to make sure contact information gets put on the header of this live also. You can follow up at Friday Styles on Instagram. Mm -hmm. There's an underscore between Friday and Styles. So, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Boom. Also, she's touching on it. She's an entrepreneur. She is a grad school student. She is also what I, what I just, uh, what, which amazes me that I just discovered today, right before we went live. She's a campaign manager also. And, you know, get, we can't do applause because we can't hear you. So give her some likes. Give her some thumbs up. I really like the thumbs up. Throw her some hearts. I'm introducing her right now. Let her see all how cute these hearts are. Latasha, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know we touched on it a little bit, but go yeah. ahead. Yeah, so, you know, I am a, the new campaign manager for United Way, so that's a corporate campaign manager. I mm -hmm. raise dollars, so I'm really excited about moving that in that sense. position. Uh, I have my nonprofit, which mm -hmm. is on hold, but grad school is the biggest uh, obstacle right now that I'm overcoming with an anticipated graduation of May 5th. Ooh, so that's almost right around the corner. Right around the corner <laughs> when i tell you senioritis is kicked in it's kicked in um spring break in full effect <laughs> all day um so th i have that i model so you can catch me in primp uh, the runway that. coming right. on um primp the runway we have a york show june 15th on saturday and then we have a baltimore show august 17th so you can catch me in those two dates um modeling and uh i also um am introducing my daughter into the modeling world mm -hmm. so we're getting her acclimated you might see her face on a couple billboards she's in nine billboards throughout dolphin cumberland and perry county so oh snap catch that little bit of work right there you know <laughs> and she's over there and um you know just working making sure maintaining uh try to be a positive person an outlook for anybody that i know and that i interact with mm -hmm. so you know just working to to better myself at the end of the day there we go there we go shayla says congratulations on your new position i know i'm gonna miss working directly with shayla over at upmc oh it was black girl magic all day every all time day. i talked to her like it was fairy like fairy dust just coming down then you, you two did an event recently right yeah I got a picture of yeah we look so cute you know a couple sprinkles of minority in there <laughs> <laughs> i see latasha's on thank you for joining in i see seppi's on did i say it right i hope i did if i didn't please correct me i thank you for joining in Right now, I know you had it before. How does that water taste? So the Stark water has a high pH balance, Ooh. which goes along with having an alkaline body. It does. And when you have an alkaline body, as Dr. Stebby says, you cannot get sick. Eat the right things, drink wow. the right things, put the right things in your body. A high pH water, such mm -hmm. as Stark water itself. And then Klee also has these uh -oh. electrolytes here. Uh oh. This one is lime sherbet. Now, I cannot. It's one of my favorites. It's his favorite, but not so much mine. But there are multiple flavors. So, I think you should definitely try this water. I've drank it multiple times. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing, thirst quenching. Mm -hmm. It's slightly better than Fiji if you're a Fiji person. Mm -hmm. So, 
I'm all for it. I'm all for anything thank that you, comes thank out you, of, thank comes you. here with clay. And I, I see that you you mentioned Dr. Seppi, and it's uh, amazingly and ironic that he is known, or they give him the asterisk or hashtag for curing AIDS, cancer, because yeah. of his alkaline tendencies or his, his study with alkaline uh, um, foods and medicines mm -hmm. that help cure the body. So yeah. wow, look at that going in. Is that a green? That is yes, a granny is. on my friend. And Ezra is here she, live with us. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. And that's part of the benefits of going live. <laughs> Women's History Month. There we have it. Exactly. And speaking of Women's History Month, it's leading me to my next question. We're in Women's History Month right now. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, any group of women, past, present, or a, a particular woman um, that ha has inspired you in the past or currently inspired you? Uh, so, you know, of course, my mom has always been like my number one inspiration without my mom. You know, a lot of my life would not be possible mm -hmm. since breathing, eating, sleeping. Um, wow, so, that's the basics. You know, the basics. I'll start there. Um, and then my core group of friends. I have a very strong core group of women who okay. I who hold me accountable. I mm -hmm. hold them accountable. And I think having, um, you know, my friends, uh, Lena Randall, Ruby Grays. Uh, Brittany Cater, Shauna Cheatham, she just gave you a shout out. Renata White. Um, uh, these are women that really keep me, you know, motivated. Mm -hmm. and, and we're all doing positive things. Nice. We're in grad school. We're mm -hmm. pursuing education. We're buying houses. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's what really is important to me is having women who are in the same realm as you. And want to see your realm go up, you know. Iron sharpens iron. Yes, indeed. And so I definitely look to these women. And then there's a bunch of women on Facebook that I see doing amazing things in the community. I see Madonna doing um, doing things in the community. I see Jillian. I see Julia. You know, I see these women doing great things. Mm -hmm. I see Carla. I see Anna. You know, these are women that I'm I'm associated with. I know, and I have watched their progression mm -hmm. and the and the things that they're pursuing with their lives. And so it's always good when you log on Facebook and you see a woman doing something. And you're like, yes, I know her. Go queen. Um, you know, and they're doing something positive. There's something yes. uplifting. And then there's so many women who are now like starting to run for political office in the community. Mm -hmm. So that's a positive thing because you want to see us now start to develop an impact in our own community by developing a possibility to affect change. Yeah, exactly. and, and especially in the political realm. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited just to see the glow up of all the women that are just like bossing up opening businesses starting something new impacting the community you know uh Holding that's events writing books yeah, just to name a yeah, few yeah opening events writing books you know pushing out positivity so i'm just proud to be a woman in the community who is even recognized for some of the work mm -hmm. that i've done but just being able to be uh, on here with you i appreciate the shout out for the you know positive women Absolutely. you know yes yes Thank you. I see Tommy's on. I see John Kenny's on. Brittany Cater, you hey. gave her a shout out. She's on and watching. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. We talked about it briefly off camera. Are there any events or accomplishments? I know we talked before. We talked. I forget what month it was. It was a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and you had some uh, events and accomplishments that were going on then. Are, do you have any upcoming events and accomplishments that you have going on now? I know you touched on a few kind of in the intro. Can you yeah. rehash that? So my, my biggest um, my biggest thing is I'm getting back into the modeling world. A lot of people know me from modeling. Mm -hmm. And so, um, of course, Shay Summerlin, who is like the woman who put me on the modeling, got me into a lot of things. Um, she moved down south and she said, I'm going to do an East Coast tour of models and I want to bring you back. And of course, I'm going to jump back on that runway nice. um, for Shay. Um, Shay's been a big, another woman who's influenced me in a lot of ways mm -hmm. and in fashion. Um, so, you know, catch us out. Prep the runway, which isn't just a fashion show. It is a food drive. Oh, and the I didn't know that. Yeah, so you come... Purchase a ticket, but also bring a canned good to the event because mm -hmm. it goes to the food banks in uh -huh. those areas. So we're not just modeling just to show you some latest, hottest, greatest fashion, but we're modeling for a good cause. And we've always done that as a primp model and as a primp the runway um, 
uh, a fan and everything about the show that we do, um, it's, it's really highlighting how we can use our talents to give back. So nice. um, June Saturday, June 15th in York, and then um, in Baltimore, August 17th. You can check my Facebook page out, Latasha Nicole Fry, um, and there will be fly. There's flyers on there now, but you could you'll see more as we get closer to those dates. So that'll give venues and times. And that will give you venues and times as we get closer. It's going to be a big spectacle of an event. So if you've ever been to a Prince of the Runway show, you know it is. It is live, it is fun, it is fashion, it is fierce, it is family, it mm -hmm. is beauty. And so, you it's know. A lot of it is. It is. So because it is fun. How about that? Boom. <laughs> all, it's all the above. Okay. So, that's the biggest event that I have coming up um, as of late. And then, uh, of course, grad school uh, finishing May. Congratulations you know, for speaking that into existence. Everybody early. pray for the Capstone Project, okay? Because that needs to just be done with an A. <laughs> okay, be done with an A. <laughs> and then, you know, I have my daughter who is just out here living her best life. Um, she'll be five, so we got to get ready for the big five. No, the big five. So, and uh, we're jumping ahead, but I mean, and you talked about it. She's on nine billboards here yes. in Dolphin County. Yeah, okay. so Dolphin, Cumberland, and Perry County, she's on nine billboards. <laughs> you will see her mm -hmm. face. She's like, ah, on there. <laughs> and uh, it is a part of the thank you campaign for United Way for okay. all those people who donated to the organization. So mm -hmm. she's there, and we will be working to get her face in some more things. Okay, so, nice, nice. Yeah. Thank you, Jason, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hey, Jason! Uh-oh. Former Cougar basketball player from Coach Steve. Yeah, you did have yeah. a basketball history. Yeah, that was a long time ago. So, <laughs> yeah. You say it like that? Because, I mean, that's like almost 20 years. That's, 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 Aging that's, that's, me now? Come on. But your edges look good. <laughs> so, whoop. <laughs> You're petty for that one. What? <laughs> that was a that was a compliment. That was a compliment. Because I was supposed to stay off camera. Oh, I'm but sorry. anyway, my bad. I should. But did shout that. out to the Lady Cougars. I got a lot to Once learn. a Cougar, over oh, oh, the Cougar, 2004, won them three championships, lost only one game. You know what I mean? Brought history oh. to the school. So shout out to the Cougars. Shout out to the football and basketball team and all the track team that's getting gearing up for this season. So mm -hmm. I see the baseball and softball team out there. So mm -hmm. go it's Mighty Cougars! Season. It's Cougar Land out here. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you, Natisha, for joining in. Also, and I know you touched on inspirations, um, uh, a lot of women inspirations currently, and I know you spoke on your mother. Do you have any other inspirations? That, has anything happened, or is what what drives you? Uh, what drives me? What would be another form of inspiration other than what you spoke about? My 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 daughter is a big inspiration. I I, I want to be a good example for her mm -hmm. and so for me um pursuing opportunities that help me grow spiritually um if you're not spiritually okay then you know everything around you crumbles mm -hmm. um uh working on my education because i want her to know the importance of education totally and the agree. opportunities that come once you you know are educated mm -hmm. um and then the way you carry yourself um being a positive person you you gain more bees by having honey you know instead that, that's, of vinegar you know so oh, look at him yeah, I know some stuff. he knows just a little bit yeah, um you know so keeps me floating. i just you know i just try to that's my daily motivation is mm. the be a better example of a woman for her and, and make sure that she's a better woman than I am. Just like my mother wanted me to be a better woman than she is. And, you keeping know, the trend going. keeping the trend going. So it's just continuously putting myself in situations that are positive, that are mm -hmm. uplifting. Mm -hmm. I love being around people that feed my spirit and mm -hmm. feed me because I can then <laughs> turn feed them. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's always a good thing. You caught me off guard. <laughs> you laugh. I'm sorry. wasn't laughing at you. Thank you, Craigery, for joining in. I know you probably didn't want to hear Craigery, but Craig's on. Thank you. You just said your whole government. Uh, ew, nah, I got fake government. He doesn't want to hear. Regardless, I gave him a shout out. No, there's people on the other end of the, the live right now that we're speaking with. It's on the camera. <laughs> we got into inspirations. Do you have any goals that you've already have accomplished? Did you? It's from the last live. I know you had goals then. Did you make any new goals since then? Yeah. So my last goal was to get my LLC done mm -hmm. and all that. So that's 
check, check. Congratulations. Um, so, money dance all <laughs> <Early> night. too. <laughs> you know. Um, so, that was one. Was and getting... then uh, the next one, you know, the quickest goal is to get that graduation mm -hmm. under the way. That's and right then, around the corner. next thing you know after that is get my PMP certification, which is a project management certification. Okay. Um, so, that's the next thing. My goals are more along the lines of my education mm -hmm. and opportunities um, to make myself the most valuable, as valuable as I potentially can be. I understand. Um, so, that's it. Being and the then, best version of yourself. Pretty much. And then, continue to build build on my spirit, continue to build on my mind, continue to strengthen it as well. Mm -hmm. um, the season's changing, so goodbye season of the depression, hello summer. Um, so we're going to be ready to... a nice day for it too. Yeah, Ooh, and nice. when the sun really comes out, <laughs> perfect the chocolate, son. Get that sun kiss. <laughs> you can never go wrong there. So, um, yeah, yeah. And I did used to help children find mentors, mm -hmm. Steve. You are so right. I definitely worked on getting kids connected to mentors and, and even mentoring children myself. And I still do that now. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's something low key that I, I do. I don't really, you know, talk about talk about the kids or the girls that I talk to on a regular basis or even just try to pull to the side. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, you know... How often have you done that? Oh, that's something I do regularly. Okay. I have a couple girls that I keep in contact with mm -hmm. that I've watched grow over mm -hmm. time. And, you know, even if it's just sending them a positive prayer to say, hey, hey, you know, keep grinding, keep doing what you're doing, or I see what you're doing, I'm the proud of you. Things. It's the little things, you know. They always say check on your strong friend, mm. you know. So sometimes these girls are out here being super strong when they really just don't have to be, you know, they're young. So, um, and then I have a couple girls whose hair I do, so I always, like, get in their ear about what's going on with them. You know, I have a, a good handful of teenage girls that mm -hmm. I talk to. Your niece is one of them. Um, and it's always just listening to what they got going on, talking to them, hearing what they got to say, um, telling them about my, my experiences mm -hmm. and what I went through, and then hopefully they don't make the same mistakes that I made. So. Shared experience is a learning stepping stone. Very much Thank so. Thank you, Daisy, for joining in. Very much so. So... Um, that, and that's really, um, really, you know, something that I try to keep to myself. You know, I like to just, you know, the Bible tells you not to be boastful about the people that you help, you know, so I'm not really being boastful about help. I understand. You know, and thank you, Mr. Deli, for joining in. Bobby's on. I don't think that you're all, you're being boastful and, and kind of putting, you're, you're saying, given the track record of people, it, it takes a village. Yeah. So, uh, uh, somebody helping you, you helping them, passing it on, and acknowledging the fact is all, is, it's truth, it's, it's life, and it happens, and I think to talk about it is very important because a lot of people don't talk about all the, in the negative world that we live in, we don't always talk about the positive things that we have happen true. to us or the positive things that we do for other people. True, true, true. Very yeah. true. Yes, yes. This is why, this is why you gotta love this guy. I mean, I mean, you know? I mean, I come with some thunder every now and then. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and let it rain and clear it out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I might get this. I don't have enough room to get the shoulders working. Oh, I might gosh. Get the shoulders working. <laughs> and got him started on I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I have fun going live with you. I always do. That's why you bite me back. Come yeah, on. I know, I know. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, we 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 got the, this is the catch all. Do we had anything else that we missed? Because I, I know your daughter's back there. Yeah, Ezra, to get on. come on, Ezra. Come on. You want to come on? Come on. Now, don't be shy <laughs> now. You done sit, She's sitting in the background. Can I come? You better come on, girl. Uh -oh. I yeah, bought you a pony. It. I'll take the pony back if you don't come on, son. <laughs> See? Say hi Give to the camera. Give him a big smile. Hi. Give him a big wave. Give, Give him a big wave. wave. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a big smile. This is the same smile that's on the billboard, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is Ezra. You will see her. If you see me, you see her. She is definitely my shadow. Look at all the hearts. See all the hearts? Yeah. yeah. I can see them. They look cute, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So this is my number one inspiration, my Women's History Month, my Women's History Year, my Women's History I see a lot of hearts. A lot of hearts. They're all for you. They're all for They're you. They're all for you. They wasn't doing all that for me. Nah. I'm jealous. <laughs> Dad. They come out with the love for Ezra. Uh -huh. In a plethora full. Got Tasha saying, I think, I'm sorry, it's real. I think I talked about your involvement as far as others and gives them ideas volunteer. on how to volunteer. And I have, we have to see more. 
oh. and give back. There we go. You know, a great way for, um, I think, people to want to give back, that want to be involved and want to be engaged and want to really talk to kids is look at the organizations that are already a part of children, that mm-hmm. work with children. You know, um, the Boys and Girls Club, the Big Brothers, Big Sisters. There are so many young girls um, you know, the minority girls that are that really need another positive minority black woman, um, you know, to, to, to inspire them, you know, not taking away from any other woman. But, you know, sometimes you when you see a woman that looks like you doing great things, you want to aspire to be them. I remember, you know, Miss Dunson growing up in high school and Miss Kimber growing up, you know, those were those were positive women that did so much and they were powerful in their little little bodies. <laughs> yes, I agree. No, you can. You can write on there. Thank you, Victoria Team Mom Mom, for joining in. I appreciate it. Anything else that we may have missed? Tell me, so, tell me who are the women that inspire you for Women's History Month. Oh, who are man. your inspirational women? You know, the women who inspire me would have to be the whole Tillman collection. Oh. From my, my grandmothers, to my mother, to my sisters, to, and, and see, now that you're putting me on the spot, you know. Come on, yeah, let's get it. You know, uh, Angela Davis is one, you know, uh, being forthright out there. Um, it's 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 a lot, honestly. Um, currently, I would have to say Lisa Nichols okay. because she's a, um, a I forget what she classifies herself. She's a motivator. She's a life coach. She does. She has a tremendous story, and it, it's if she's inspiring to listen to. Mm. And because of her story, you feel like man, woman, child, you're white, connected. black. Yes, you're connected. Mm-hmm. You feel like that you can make that change also. Yeah. So there, there we have it. Yeah, she got me. Look at that. Look, can't you can't ask there. me about who motivates right. me. You're, you're right. a man. And that behind every good man is the queen that influenced him. Then there's your list. There's the list of queens. There you go. See? Boom. Oh. Don't do that. Yeah, don't knock the tripod over. We're out of trouble. Trouble. Dreams Deferred. That mm. was the last live that we talked about. That was. Do you remember anything about that, the Dreams Deferred? Do you, do you still feel it's applicable now, or do you think that you've pushed past that and you're obtaining those dreams? That, I think, I think you're, you're always going to have a dream that may be deferred to mm-hmm. a later date. And it's not that you won't ever accomplish it, but it's just that it may not be the right time and, and or the season. Mm-hmm. Or you may have to add a little sauce to yourself in order for you to be able to get to that dream deferred. Like that sauce. You know, so that spaghetti sauce. You it always know, tastes better the second day. Sorry. <sighs> the distractions. You know <laughs> so true. But mm-hmm. facts. But you know, um right now I don't I don't see too many of my dreams deferred. Mm-hmm. I feel like that 2019 is my year of accomplishing everything that I've set out for With myself. Full head of steam. Yes, um not getting too easily distracted, um looking maintaining focus on my plate, you hmm. know. Um who what's his name? Uh the gospel singer. He I just heard the song for the first time and it's just it's it's called Pressure. Um, Jonathan McCary or something like that. It has a call, song called Pressure. Just basically about like not letting the, the world around you pressure you into okay. changing you into who you aren't mm-hmm. or who God hasn't made you to be. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that's a, not a lot of you know what I'm trying to do is just maintain who I am. Not let society's pressures influence my, my movement. Um, because a lot of times you start thinking of, well, such and such is here and such and such is there. Mm-hmm. And you start thinking that you're lacking when reality, sometimes you got to go back and reread your goals mm-hmm. and the ones that you've already accomplished to remind you of how dope you are. I like that. So sometimes you might have to look back and say, this was the dream and I'm Mommy. this dope. And mean that that Mommy. you're this dope. You, you know what's funny? It's looking back on goals and, and journaling that I've done, and I know other people that I've spoke to done from five years ago, and let's just say, let's hypothetically say that they wanted to have a certain house mm-hmm. or a certain car, and they got that, and it became the norm for them, mm-hmm. and so they had moved on to bigger and better goals, but when they looked at their goals from the past, and they're like... I couldn't wait to get this house. I couldn't mm-hmm. wait to get this car. Now it's so normal to me. I should be more appreciative mm-hmm. of where I was and where I where I arrived and where I'm still trying to go yeah. as in the growth process. You definitely have to look back. I mean, I remember when I still live with my parents and I was like, oh, I can't wait to get my own crib. I mm-hmm. can't wait. And then I'm in the baby chateau and I'm like, this is what I prayed for. Now, God, let's speak into existence the bigger. 
you know um but a lot of times you do have to do that mm -hmm. you forget sometimes the struggles when it starts getting easy yeah yeah and absolutely. don't remain complacent complacency kills stagnant water mommy, always attracts mosquitoes mommy. and mm. mosquitoes mommy. are blood suckers mommy, <laughs> good job Right yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. So, like I said before, we ch check me out on YouTube, Coach Clee. Uh, the Coach Clee subs uh, subscribe, tongue tied. Subscribe to the Coach Clee page on YouTube. Tag, like, and share this message. Is there anything else? Any other positive messages that you want to put out before we wrap up? Breathe in positivity. Breathe out negativity. Don't let society's norms pressure you, mm -hmm. and stay focused on your goals and your plans. Hey, there we go. I like it. Remember that I put on the put on, okay? And if you have anyone or you know anyone or you yourself has a business, has a product, or another positive message, inbox me, contact me. Somehow we'll get, we'll schedule you an appointment. We'll get you on the show. We will get you a platform. to uh, We'll put you on the platform to get your message out there, all right? Tag, like, and share, like I always say. I have a special guest next week. Who's your special guest? I can't tell you. You got to stay tuned and wait and see. It's going That's on fair. with Women's History Month. I'm sure she's a dope woman. Yeah, yeah. I just see you had Julia on here. I did. She's I dope. Did. Oh, yes, Her yes. story is so impactful. Yes, yes. You got to keep her lifted in prayer because she's an amazing woman. Yes, yes. Very inspiring. Yeah. Absolutely. You're Thank dope. You. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. Mm -hmm. I try. So make sure you check out the website, workwithclee.com. Get some stark water in you. We if the books are on there March fourth no shade all light the, bam, the, the things right back there that's how we do it. It's your motivational speaker, your empowerment coach, and your author, your favorite baker's favorite baker coming at you on the first day of spring with a special guest at the electrifying Latasha Fry and her inspiring message. Make sure you like I keep saying tag like and share. I appreciate you. We love you. We got one more thing we got to do. We got to leave. We got to hit. Money dance. Money dance. Money dance. Look at get it. That's the Billboard star right there. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you later. Enjoy your night. Thank you. We love you. Peace.